Welcome to my vlog of my big announcement that I'm about to make. It's something that I've been working on for a while, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. The whole family is here, so I figured that why don't we just make this a family affair. Let's bring my very special guest in. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is Alex the Fit. Hi. Hubby. Hey, Sammy, what's his name? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Can you say hi? You don't know that all these people are watching her. You'd be showing off. Bro. <laughs> That's all she wrote. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, let's get down to business. This is going to be the first of many uh, videos kind of documenting this whole big cool new thing that I'm about to launch. So um, I'm getting nervous. I think I'm gonna announce it, but I'm really hot, so I'm gonna take my jacket off. Hey, are you hot? Are you hot? <laughs> Mommy's hot, should I take my jacket off? Yeah. Oh, I'm so hot, okay. Will you help me take my jacket off? Yeah. I need a lot of help, all the time. Here. Yeah? Here, pull. Pull hard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, there's no denying it anymore. We are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Ah. <laughs> so you, that, <laughs> that's the big announcement. So many people guessed it. I'm so excited. I've been pregnant for 12 weeks and it's been killing me not to tell you guys. Sammy, come here. Can you say sister? Sister. Sister. <laughs> hey, what's in here? Bella. A what? A baby. A baby. <laughs> Can you say sister? Sister. Are you a sister? <laughs> <laughs> The prediction on the gender is that I think we're having a boy because my pregnancy so far has been drastically different than it was when I was pregnant with Sam. So, I mean, there's so many theories out there, but I think, I feel like it's a boy. But I will say that I thought it was a boy the whole time I was pregnant with Sam too. So, who knows? Um, I literally thought it was she was a boy until Alex held her up in the delivery room and said that we're having a girl and I about died. Yeah. <laughs> I was really, really sick with Sam for 12 weeks straight in the beginning. And I was not sick and had no clue I was pregnant for eight weeks, eight weeks nine yeah, weeks. Eight weeks. So, I mean, I was like on the couch, so sick with Sam from like week four to week 12. So, I don't know, just it's so much different. I'm a little bit sick now, but um, it's not bad. I mean, it hasn't really stopped me from trying to get to the gym or eating or anything like that. So um, it, it, it definitely feels different and I'm excited about it because if it's a boy, then that's just the perfect little family. Yeah. And then we'll be done if we Either get a boy. Either way though, it's all good. <laughs> For sure. I'm gonna get another girl. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Three girls. Yeah. <laughs> My destiny. September 7th. And this is kind of a funny story. I took a negative pregnancy test in December, which is crazy because I was pregnant um, and TMI, but I had a period in January, which, so I was just like, I'm definitely not pregnant. We go to Mexico, we're having a good time, chilling, having a couple of cocktails. And on our way home, actually we were in the lobby waiting for the taxi cab to come get us to take us to the airport. I fainted. <laughs> I don't faint. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever fainted in my life. So I'm like scaling a wall walking out of the restroom and I just crashed down to the ground. I wake up and the paramedics are over me and they're once I came to and sat down, they took my blood pressure and I looked at Alex and I went, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I just knew it. 
I'm not a fainter, I don't get sick, I wasn't hungover or anything, I didn't drink that much, but I just, something in me, I just knew it. Came home from Mexico, took a pregnancy test, it was positive, so that was like the end of January. So I'm thinking that I'm like four weeks pregnant, just a couple of weeks ago, so I don't think I'm very far along at all, I'm thinking like late October baby, and uh, <laughs> I go to the doctor, they did an ultrasound, and up on the screen of the ultrasound is this like big ass baby with <laughs> like a butt and knees and feet, and I'm like, we all looked at each other, we're like, that is not a real baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was, I've been pregnant forever. I've been pregnant since early December. Um, I'm 12 weeks pregnant now and couldn't be happier. I'm excited to get into the second trimester because I really want to get back to my workouts and if it's anything like my last pregnancy, I felt like a rock star in my second trimester and was super strong and got all my workouts in, so pray for me. My approach to training while I'm pregnant is to listen to my body. It's what I did with the first pregnancy. I always thought I was going to be one of those pregnant women that you see on social media that is just an absolute rock star during their pregnancies. I thought I was going to be like squatting and lifting heavy and it just wasn't me. My body's not like that. My joints hurt so bad. My whole pregnancy is already happening and so I really have to take it easy. I do my absolute best. I still lift weights. I still push it. I still lift as much as I can. But for example, the last two weeks, the most I've been able to squat is 135. And before I was pregnant, I was at 175, 180. So you can do the math and figure out what that's, what that um, percentage is that I'm operating at. But 135 feels like my 175. So that's cool for me. I'm working really hard, putting in a lot of effort. Um, and I'm gonna film so much for you. Um, my world is completely different with this pregnancy than it was the first pregnancy. I mean, there was, I feel like there was barely social media unless I was pregnant. So there's so many more opportunities now to share the journey and show you guys what it's like to have a fit pregnancy. And I'm gonna be really real with you. I'm gonna have crap days. I'm going to feel like shit all the time. I'm not young. I'm gonna be 36 when, I mean, I am young, but I'm gonna be 36 when I have this baby, so I kind of feel like an old pregnant dinosaur. <laughs> it does come into play, and that's why I'm bringing it up. I'm not in my mid-20s pregnant, being a rock star. Um, I really, I really have to take care of my body, and I have to watch it too. I have a toddler, I have a huge business, I have a full-time job, Alex works full-time. My life is crazy. I travel, you guys all know this, and so I have to be really careful with rest and recovery and just taking the best care of me and baby that I can while still taking really good care of my family, Sam, and the business. So I really have to work on balance and just doing what's best for my situation. I don't think I'm going to do a second edition of the prenatal book, of the Justice Girls prenatal edition, but I am going to redo it, I think. Um, not that my philosophy's changed, I think it'll be really similar, but I've explored training so much more since then, and in the first prenatal, in the original prenatal ed edition that I have, you know, I wasn't doing hip thrusters, I wasn't do. I wasn't really, not that I was pushing it, but I really, I, I really stuck to the basics, and I want to show more variation in the exercises, so I want to show, you know, the very beginner version, the moderate version, which I would consider what my current Justice Girls prenatal edition is, and then I want to show more advanced. Like, I've been in the gym, pregnant with this baby, doing hip thrusters, obviously without the bar across my hips. If you saw my Instagram Live or my Instagram stories this week, I had a demo on my hip, just holding it, and I was doing single leg hip thrusters. So there's things like that that I didn't know about or try or test out when I was pregnant the first time with Sam. So I'm gonna add a lot more stuff like that and basically just make the moves more advanced, um, but all still very safe. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna revamp that whole book and make a lot more video to go with it. There's no video or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kind of refresh that whole system. I'm 
So far, all I've ever done is refer women to my Jessie's Girls Muscle Building 1 edition. Um, it's very safe for postnatal fitness. Um, it has the right amount of calories and the nutrition guide is correct for milk supply and um, just building muscle back after pregnancy. All I do is recommend that you take out like all the HIIT training and stuff like that and listen to your body if you can't go to the gym six times a week when you're at home with a baby um, or recovering from pregnancy or delivery. Don't go to the gym six, six times a week. So I'm going to make a perfect book for postnatal fitness and getting your body back after pregnancy that is dedicated to that. I stopped taking and have stopped taking anything with stimulants. Um, so no pre-workout, no fat burners, no thermogenics. Um, I take uh, the NLA for her, her aminos a little bit, um, but it has beta alanine in it, so I'm kind of touch and go with that. Maybe like one scoop before my strength training workouts, and that's about it, so like two or three times a week. Um, no creatine while I'm pregnant. That's probably the one I miss the most. I'll use creatine for pre-workout to build muscle, and gosh, if I could take that while I was pregnant, I'd probably maintain all my muscle, but um, I don't I don't take creatine while I'm pregnant, so I'll just lose muscle and build it back with a postnatal edition. <laughs> Other than that, I take branched chain amino acids that don't have beta alanine in it, um, but the supplements that are still in are protein powder, fish oils, multivitamins, obviously my prenatal, um, CLA, and I think that's it. It's pretty simple when you're pregnant. You just kind of stick to the basics um, and no stimulants. Breathing. Yes. Um, yogurt. No. So what? Yogurt. Weird, yeah, I'm really weird with yogurt. I have like five, I have like five yogurt today. I'm a crazy yogurt lady. It's how I get my protein in. So, um, yogurt, and I'm eating a lot of Sam's little snacks, like applesauce packets. Um, I'm eating a lot of fruits, so and my sugars are in like the 50 to 60 gram range right now a day. Um, but no, no big cravings. When I was pregnant with Sam, my number one craving, almost my only craving, was cream, like half and half cream that you put in coffee. What's been going on with me and food is just like when I was pregnant with Sam, it's more about food aversions. Everything sounds gross. I can't think of anything that I want to eat. Um, I can open the fridge and just stare. I can pack the most perfect day of meals and I look at it and I'm like, no, I don't want any of this. I've basically been living on yogurt, cottage cheese, um, all of that with a little bit of fruit in it. Um, green veggie like smoothie shakes so that I can get my greens in um, protein powder lots of protein powder and if I have a meal made so Alex is really good about just making dinner making lunch and if you hand me a bowl of food I will shovel it down like it was my first meal in weeks um, but just the thought of trying to figure out what to eat and trying to put foods together and make my own meals is awful for me right now so it's all about my fridge being stocked with things like high protein foods like cottage cheese and yogurt and protein powder i take advantage of reverse dieting during my pregnancy um nobody expects me there's a blue one nobody expects me to be in killer shape when i'm pregnant which is an awesome break for me <laughs> i don't have that much reverse dieting to do this time because my my calories have been at like 2100 for months and months and months and months. So I'll probably reverse diet up to maybe 2,300 calories, 2,400 calories. So I, you know, I'm only gonna reverse diet up three or 400 calories. But what, what I usually recommend is calculate your macros and be at maintenance in the first trimester and then add in 300 calories coming from carbs and fats for the second trimester and for the third trimester. And then that's what you really have to do, it's that simple. So that's what's going on. We're so excited. Yeah. I think we're excited. We're a little terrified. Um, the last time I was pregnant with Sam, I hadn't even launched Jesse's Girls yet. I didn't have this huge career. Um, I didn't have a toddler. <laughs> so this pregnancy is going to be and already has been so much different than the first one. 
Um, it's so much different to be pregnant when you have a two-year-old running around and you work full-time and you work full-time. It's been crazy, but it's an awesome adventure and um, it's going to be really, really cool. I'm excited for Sammy to start to pick up on what it means. I think when I'm showing a little bit more, she'll kind of have fun with it. I think I need to have a big belly for her to really understand. <laughs> and she's going to. It's going to be big. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to do a pregnancy vlog right here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, please, and like my videos and always comment on my videos. I'm going to create a separate playlist so that you guys can know exactly where to go for my pregnancy journey. I'll vlog once a week. I can't wait to share this journey with you. It's going to be awesome. You're gonna be with me through the highs and the lows, and I'll do a lot of just one-on-one -on -one talking with you like this so that I can kind of tell you what's going on with my body, how I'm feeling, what my life is like as I lead up to a family of four. <laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. See you soon.